What's up everybody, just thought I'd do another bonus video for this week. I just picked up today a little uh, gift for myself, a little bit of a, a bit of a techie treat as I like to do every now and again. And this week I've picked up a steering wheel, a, a PC controller steering wheel from Maplins. It was pretty cheap. It's the Carbon GT from Speedlink. Okay, so I have the wheel set up now. I've attached it to the table quite easily. I didn't need to use the clamp that came with it. It just uh, secures quite nicely on there using the suction cups at the bottom. And it fits perfectly onto the table. And a uh, little mad thing, I don't know if you can hear me, but it vibrates as you turn. So that's a bit of an interesting thing. It kind of, uh, and also when you press the, put the pedals down there, if you look at the size of my feet, the, they're not that big. They don't feel great, but they're okay. They'll do. They'll do the job. But the it vibrates. If you can hear that, it vibrates as you hold the accelerator down and the brake down. So that kind of makes it quite immersive in a way because it feels like the engine's on or whatever. So yeah, I thought it would be a good idea to put F1 2013 on again. I know, and uh, we'll have another race against sheep and see how we get on with that and then I'll probably play some Euro Truck Simulator and see what that's like with it and if that's any more realistic or any better Right, so we're back in F1 2013 again and this time we're going to try it with this steering wheel and see how we get on Something tells me it's not going to go well this Hello by the way Picture in pictures, the future Ah yes, accelerate, that's a good thing to do at the start of the race Okay, this vibration's a bit mental Uh, okay, whoa, okay Staying a bit sensitive. First corner. Right, let's see how we do. Uh, go around, go around, go around. That's not too bad. Okay, that's fine. I apologise if the audio on this is terrible. I've got... Oh my god, that's bad. I've got fans, I've got this vibrating. I've got a fan there because it's very warm today. I need to be gentle on the accelerator because if you put your foot down and it's far too hard, it looks like a real car, which I did try earlier today actually. My uncle let me have a quick go of his car today and suffice to say I managed to, as he said, bunny hop it a few steps and then I stalled it. And also it made a really loud clunking noise. In fact, I think I wrote his car off. Well, I didn't write it off, it was still works afterwards, but he doesn't realise how close he came. See? Oh my god, yeah. Imagine if I'd done that in real life today. I suppose it's a lot more realistic, but it's also a lot harder to play. <laughs> I mean, sheep's just off in the distance somewhere. I'm not, I haven't seen him for dust. I'm not sure of that. I might need to tweak it or something. It's a little bit weird. Uh, come on, round, round we go. That's okay. I get used to it, maybe it's just getting used to it. I wonder what it's going to be like in Euro Trucks, to be honest, because Euro Trucks a bit of a weird one. Because you don't go fast in that. But the steering on it is very... They've just done an update for that, actually, where the physics are a lot different, so I'm not too sure how that's going to behave, to be honest with you. I don't know if you can hear it vibrating, but like I say, when I've got my foot down on this accelerator, it just vibrates constantly. I suppose it's trying to replicate that. Ah, they've gone off there. And now I'm doing donuts. Well, he's trying. I think he's trying to replicate engine vibration or engine noise, and it gets like when you're turning, like the vibration gets even stronger. And it gets, vibrates quite a lot actually. It's quite powerful for what it is, considering this thing only costs 30 quid. Not too bad. The rubber, the rubber, the rubber grip feels good. It feels uh, doesn't feel like cheap and plasticky. Well, I'm not all of it anyway. Actually, no, it all feels pretty decent. It's not too bad for the price. The last steering wheel I had before this one was way back in the PS1 days when I had uh, a Mad Cats. For anyone who remembers Mad Cats, and it was shit. I think that was like in the days before like analog was a thing, or at least it wasn't in many games. So, like, you had a steering wheel, but you might as well not have bothered because you just nudge it ever so slightly and just go off to the right like that. I'm not doing very well here, am I? I feel like Harry Enfield when he went round the, on the first ever episode of Top Gear and set the slowest lap time I think anyone's ever done on the Star and a Reasonably Priced Car segment for anyone who watches Top Gear. I'm getting the feeling that I'm probably going to get lapped here 
I've got the traction control off, so that probably doesn't work. And playing with the traction control off when you're playing with a with the gamepad is one thing, but I might want to turn it back on for a bit while I'm using the steering wheel. Having said that, that's just gonna No, maybe I should leave it off and just try and actually learn how to fucking drive. Oh, I don't know, maybe it is right, maybe it's just me being a shit driver. I think at the end of the day it comes down to one thing and that's the fact that I am a shit driver. Here comes Sheepy, lapping me. There he goes. Hello. Unsurprisingly I came second and I was at least one lap slower. Right, that needs a bit of tinkering. But uh, we'll see how we get on with Euro Truck Simulator. So here we are in Euro Truck Simulator. I'm recording this a few hours later, so that's why the lighting's changed. Am I going across the train tracks? I can't be, can I? I've never been in this yard before. I'm a little bit lost. Oh my word. Don't tell me I'm going to have to reverse. Oh, okay. oh right. No. Not a born driver. I am not, I'll be honest. I think I already mentioned in the other part of the video how I actually, I actually have tried to drive a real car today as well. And that didn't go particularly well. So imagine how this 18 ton truck's going to go. Am I... No. Uh, I'm not doing too bad here actually. I'm quite impressed. Uh, I'm not hitting anything yet. Uh, yeah, no, that was a thing. Um, right. I might leave this unedited. Pure, or at least with not as many edits as I normally do, because uh, why not? It makes a change, even though I've only been doing this for like three weeks. But you know, I will probably look back on these videos in about ten years and think, "Boy, those were shit." I think I'm going the right way now. Oh yes, I remember this. Right, okay. Can I? I need to get out of this gap without. Getting my trailer stuck on the edges. Very good. I've uh, see indicators. No, put on. See indicators. So, so the, the, I really want some sort of track IR for this because I have to use the mouse to look out my left and right window, which is a bit of a pain in the ass to be honest. It would be nice if I could just go. God, I really hope you stop. I really hope there's nothing. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. <laughs> I really should have been paying more attention to where my truck was going and not just what was. Never mind, it was fine. It was perfectly fine. Nobody saw that. Really? I have never come across traffic like this on this game. Why are my windscreen wipers on? It's the middle of the summer. Have you seen how nice it is on this game? And outside of real life, at this, actually, it's been a very sunny day today. It's been lovely. But um, I've been playing this game for a long time, and I've never come across traffic like this. There's normally never any traffic. There's cars everywhere. Yay! We're moving. Come on! If I get stuck at these lights, don't change on me. Don't change on me. Don't change on me. Don't change on me. Oh! They, oh! Just about round we go and off we go. I maybe need to adjust the sensitivity a bit because I'm in the wrong lane. Oh dear, that's not good. Sorry. In the wrong way. Uh, we're going from my hometown of Manchester, which is where we started, to the wonderful uh, town of Sheffield. I am in the wrong lane now and we're going to have to change lanes. Oh yes, <clears throat> that was close. Uh, we're going to Sheffield, which is famous for steel, apparently. And that's where they make uh, knives and things. So, if you ever wondered where steel comes from, it comes from Sheffield, apparently. I do love this game. It's it, it's weird, it's kind of like a relaxing thing. I just chill out when I'm having a drive. It's like I can go exploring without actually having to go anywhere, which is the way I like it, really, because I can't often be asked going outside. Right, okay, I should probably slow down for this corner a little bit because it's a little bit precarious. And yeah, I'm probably going a bit too fast there, but never mind. It's fine, no problems. 
you can put radio stations on this and normally I like to listen to the radio while I'm having a drive but for reasons of YouTube fucking me in the arse I will not be putting the music on I'm getting quite used to this actually this, the sensitivity of the steering is a bit weird although you can adjust it there's kind of like a dead zone on the controller so like it's not it's not like a yeah well it's not too bad but as you can see there's like a I don't know if I'll be able to see it, but if I go like that, see there's like a delay. <laughs> that probably wasn't a good thing to do to show you as an example. <sighs> don't do that in a real truck. That was just for the purposes of showing you the lag, but in a real truck, doing this is not a good idea, apparently. Apparently you may crash, as I nearly just did. I'm very impressed I didn't hit anything there actually. In fact, that was probably my best achievement of the day. Well, we're nearly at Sheffield now anyway. I'm in the wrong lane again. Oh, Indicate. Right. Okay. The one thing that does annoy me in this game is that the indicator tick is not. It's kind of like. You know what I mean? But yeah, overall, since we're nearly at Sheffield, I should probably uh, draw some conclusions. Sorry! Kind of nudged in there. Probably going a bit fast again. Uh, right, let's draw some conclusions. Uh, the steering wheel, do I like it? Yes, overall. It's a little bit sensitive and it takes a little bit of adjustment to get it just right, but once you've done that, it's pretty good. I've still not quite got it right in F1 yet. I'm, just, I'm not doing the lap times that I was doing with the Xbox 360 controller. However, with Euro Truck, it's great, and I'm very pleased. And that was primarily the reason I bought it. Going around that a bit quick. Whoops! And that was a red light. Nobody sees. Nobody sees. Oh, I missed my turn. In fact, I'm not even going the right way. It doesn't matter. It gives me more time to do my summary. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, so yeah, for Euro Truck it's great, I like this very much. It uh, makes it feel a lot more realistic. The vibration of the controller just makes it feel like the tr en truck engine and stuff like that. So, and that was a crash, I don't know who it was, but I'm very sorry. I might do some more on this game at some point, because I do like this game. If I can find a good thing to do on it. The only problem with it is it's it's like I was saying, it's like one of those things where it's quite repetitive in a weird sort of way, but you can find that quite relaxing. I'm going to try and park this truck up. I never do this. I always skip this bit, but um, for the purposes of humor, humorarity on this video, is humorarity a word? Humorousness. For the purposes of being funny, I'm going to try and park this into this bay. Although I do seem to be doing a pretty good job of it so far. He says as he crashes into the truck next door. Let's try that again. This is so hard, it really is. I would never want to do this in real life. I don't think I could. It's ridiculously difficult. Right, can't bother. It. Cheers for watching, and uh, I'll do another video, proper video next Friday, but, you know, every time I do buy something, I'll just do an extra video, because, in fact, if I get time, I might start doing two a week, I don't know, but well, we'll see how it goes, in fact, I won't even keep to a schedule, I'll do one every Friday, and then one whenever, or maybe I'll just do one whenever, I don't think it matters really, does it? Ta-da!